Good afternoon, students. It's Wendy Frazee here from Canham in Australia for Canham Ed Talks. And today I would like to welcome a very special guest. I have with me today Ms. Tiani Tran, who is the Acting Director of Student Recruitment and Admissions at Charles Sturt University. Welcome and thank you, Tiani, for joining me today. Thank you so much, Wendy. It's such a pleasure to be here. And thank you, students, for tuning in today at Ed Talk Canam. So, Charles Sturt University is known as a regional university in New South Wales. And many students will not be aware that Charles Sturt, Sturt has city campuses. Can you tell our students what cities and where these city campuses are located, please? Absolutely. So we do have six beautiful regional campuses all around regional New South Wales and I'm very proud to um, let students know that they now have an option to study in beautiful Sydney and beautiful Melbourne. So these are our two metro campuses. So if you're looking to come to study in Sydney, um, it's at 77 Berry Street in North Sydney. We have three levels there, five, six and seven. And as our student population grows, we'll take up another level on level four. So that will be ready fitted out for probably 2026. If you're thinking about 2026 enrollment, um, we will look forward to welcome you there. One of the beauties is that um, having campuses in CBD, Central Business District area, means that there's a lot of part-time work. So students should be able to go from um, their course into part-time work and not only that no matter where you live in Melbourne or Sydney with those train stations and being in the CBD there they're so central and easy to get to so it cuts down on travel time so thanks for that so from your admissions data what are the top three growth programs that Indian students study at the city campuses yeah, I have to say the most three popular for our postgraduate especially is the Masters of Professional IT. We have a lot of students um, studying that because of the specialisations we offer. We have artificial intelligence, software development and cyber security. So that, that, those three are the main three popular specialisations within the Masters of IT. For our undergraduate, of course, the Bachelor of IT, and we've got the two specialisations there, Cyber Security and Software Development. And the new course that's becoming very popular, of course, is the Masters of Business Data Analytics. And at the moment, that one, because it's a new program launch, we have a 35% scholarship, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Thanks, Wendy. That's, that's excellent. Chiani, are your courses accredited by the ACS? Yes, they are. So all our, um, our Masters of Professional IT is provisionally accredited. So we haven't had a you know, full two years of you know, student call yet because they haven't completed the two years. But once we do and they graduate and they interview, then the full accreditations will come through. So the Masters of Professional IT is partially accredited and the Bachelor of IT is fully accredited by Australian Computer Society. And that's really important to know, isn't it, for students? because um, students who study courses that are accredited, they get student membership, they get the opportunity to attend the Australian Computer Society, we always say ACS, the Australian Computer Society is a professional body for anyone within the IT sector, their networking evening, the evenings, their network lunches, um, seminars that they run, and this allows them to meet with future employers. So it's a fantastic thing that you are involved with the ACS. So you mentioned scholarships, so do CSU offer scholarships at your campuses? We have a full variety of scholarships, so there's something for everyone and that's really important. And I think scholarship is one of the key ways we support our international students. We know how expensive education is and living expense. So this will help you to focus more on your study. Um, and so some of our top scholarship, of course, is the 50% Vice Chancellor Scholarship. And that normally opens around July every year and it closes in November for the next um, intake, so for 2026, for example. But this year was a little bit special. We actually kept it open for two intakes. And there's a small window of opportunity if you already have an unconditional letter offer. Um, it's still open to the 16th of May, so next Friday is the closing date at 11.59 p.m. So if you have an 80% GPA, I do encourage you to go to our website and apply for this. There's a little short essay that you need to submit, but it's very easy. Um, and then this will give you opportunity to be um, eligible for the scholarship to be interviewed. And if you get it, if you're a Bachelor of Business student, you know how much you would say? $48,000, half your degree. How great is that? Huge saving, Wendy. So when it comes to graduation, one of the things that's really important are salaries. 
So what sort of salaries are, and, and how successful are Charles Sturt University on graduate salaries and graduate outcomes? So I'm very proud to say Charles Sturt University um, has been for eight consecutive years number one public university in Australia for grads who get jobs and also number one public university for undergraduate medium salary. So our students are getting jobs faster once they graduate and earning the top medium um, salary bracket. So for example, if you are a master's of professional accounting students, you'll be earning around the 96,000 per annum. This is Australian dollars, so it's a lot of money. And if you're doing a master's of professional IT, it's even higher, it's 96,600 is the medium salary. And the employment rate is almost 91%. So that's really important, knowing that once you get your qualification, there's work opportunities out there. And this is all from the good university guides. You can look it up online as well. And then if you're doing a uh, business, uh, uh, students are earning around the 59, almost $60,000 per annum um, and 92% great uh, employment rate for the undergraduate. So that's really, really important. So, so please pop into one of our 40 odd offices, um, give us a call so that we can sit down and help you do your application, get your paperwork right that you need to be able to submit to show your financials, your previous academic entry um, transcripts so that you can apply for Charles Sturt University. Mm -hmm.